in coursera.org in order to get the certificate first you have to pass in all quizzes usually you need to get grades or marks more than 80 percent that's the first one the second thing is you are required to do peer graded assignments and also review your peers which means in order to pass you need other students to grade your assignment that's it so some courses it can be only doing quizzes to get the certificate some you can uh, do peer graded assignment but some courses have both quizzes and also peer graded assignment so that's it let's try to log in first with my friend's account of course here we go As you can see, he's sponsored by DPU, Doug Polytechnic University, which means he can do eight courses for free. Before going to search for courses, you have to check your settings. This is very important. Go in settings, you have to verify my name, which means the real name. For Samir, it can be a nickname, it doesn't matter. But the most important thing is verify your name because when you get the certificate, this name that you gave will be on it. So let's get to the point. Let's try to enroll in a course. I'm going to search for a, a course. Let's try project. Project management, the basics for success. Let's try to enroll for free. And then go to course. We got four weeks, as you can see here. What required is there's a quiz for week one, quiz for week two, quiz for week three, quiz for week four. This is good. But there's another thing that bothers a lot of students and that's it. For example, let's try this. I think learn, learn English professionally. Huh, that's it. Here we go. So if you try to enroll for this course, here in this course, you, you have five weeks. For some people, it's hard to do it. And this is the second type of requirements to get the certificate. And it is called peer graded assignments and review peers. I'm going to start the course. Let's try to skip it all and peer graded assignment. This is very important. All you have to do is follow the steps and you're going to give a project, assignment, whatever it is that they wanted from you, then you are going to submit assignment. You have to follow the steps. But the problem here, even if you do great in it, you won't pass because other students enrolled in this course will grade your mark. For example, let's try type A, A, and then I understand blah, 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 and your name. Let's say Khaled. That's it. and submit here we go i've i've did it right my uh, submission is this is called a it doesn't matter i've did it right i did my submission but still i didn't get any likes here which means it is in the process and as you can see it's done let's try to review you have to uh, do three reviews which means you will grade them for example this guy Dani, no, it's girl, Daniela Perros, I don't know, whatever it is. He or she did this assignment. So my, my rule is to give this guy a grade. For example, I gave him two points, two points, two points. I didn't even look at his assignment. It doesn't matter because I am a teacher here. I give grades. For example, let's try A, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, and then submit. I did one review so in order to 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 pass and peer uh, review your peers you have to do three here uh, Sebastian let's try to give him a good crate I don't care I, I want him to pass I'm not I'm not his teacher T two points and a submit review and two 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 points i cannot leave it empty here so that's my third winner yeah you have finished your peer review here is done we got a like button here and uh, but still we didn't get it here 
You know why? Because other students should grade my assignment as well, like I did to them. So this is a very big problem for some students because some courses, uh, you, won't, you won't find many students in it. So if you submit your assignment, 